New data shows use of force incidents are trending downward at the Minneapolis Police Department. It's been about a year since a court enforceable agreement between the city and Minnesota Department of Human Rights went into effect, requiring reforms within the department. Jay Coles talked with MPD leaders about why they think there have been fewer use of force incidents this year, Jay. Callan, I can tell you this. MPD says it was already training its officers on how to properly employ use of force before its court-enforced agreement with the state took effect. But they also said young officers are also working harder to absorb that training, and the results show it's paying off. Ever since George Floyd was murdered in Minneapolis police custody and numerous complaints of excessive force during subsequent riots, MPD has been under intense pressure to enact reforms. When and how to properly employ use of force is one of the things they've been focused on. When you're talking about use of force, it's everything from just putting your hands on somebody to stop them to, you know, using a taser or, you know, the using a, a firearm. And according to MPD's use of force dashboard, the number of these incidents hit a high of 3,928 in 2022. But through July of this year, there have been only 1,240 use of force incidents on pace to be well below that record high of 3,928 two years ago. We train to do only the force that's uh, reasonable, necessary, and proportional to whatever we're dealing with. Deputy Chief Travis Glampy tells me he thinks the push for all of this before young officers hit the streets has been productive. Our training the new focus on, um, on, on doing the de-escalation techniques, uh, sanctity of life, all those things that we've really focused on now starting over the past few years, we're starting to see that training come into play. And the significant drop in use of force has caught the attention of leaders at City Hall. I'm not shocked. I'm happy that the numbers are continuing to decline. I expect them to keep doing it. City Council member Latricia Vita says she also believes the renewed focus on the de-escalation and training has helped. Really like looking at how the police force is different and better, I think that's been a big part of it, right? Is use of force, how they interact. And Council Member Vita says she wants MPD to present this new data to the full city council at the end of the year so there is a full comparison of this year's numbers to the previous record high for use of force set back in 2022. Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News. Okay.